Apprehension is visible as car owners and fuel consumers siege fuel stations to grab fuel as after the supposed hike in the price of fuel was announced by the PPRA. Plus TV Africa's correspondent Mary Chinda dashed off to some fuel stations within Lagos to capture the situation and now reports. It is not the usual Lagos traffic jam at the Oluni Olumide Crescent on Lagos Island. It is the queue leading to a fuel station. It is an early Friday morning of long queues, uncertainties and panic buyings. The answer is in far fetched. It is the announcement of an increase in fuel price from 162 Naira to 212 Naira by the PPPRA that has sparked off all of this. Car owners rush up for last minute tank feelings just before the increase is supposedly effected. I mean, I didn't know this would happen, and obviously, this is bound to affect everything in the market. So, how many people or how many? How many employers are going to understand that they increase for uh, for price and they're supposed to increase their salaries? We are suffering. I don't think the president is aware of what we're going through, but people are actually really suffering. So I just decided to fill up my tank because tomorrow there might be scarcity. So just to have something to go about with. Midday here and at this independent uh, marketer, it is actually a lot of panic buying. Scores and scores of cars ensuring that they get filled. The Nigerian National Petroleum Company, NMPC, has since debunked the news and the PPPRA has made a U-turn, saying fuel price still remains the same. Whatever the case is, there are still Nigerians who think that increasing the pump price is the way to go. We are not going to stop at 212. We have to be factual. Uh, because the price of the fuel is being determined by the, the, the sale of the barrel of oil. It's now 70 uh, plus dollars per barrel. Hopefully a couple of refineries are going to come up very soon. So... That means we can, you know, refine our crude oil here and ensure that these products um, can be produced locally. So, I mean, I see it as a bit of a short-term concern, you know, but I know the government is making its efforts to curb these issues. But other fuel consumers wouldn't hear of it. If they increase this thing truly, if truly what we are ahead at this 212 is an increment, man, I don't know where, where the masses will put their eyes on in this our country. As an Uber driver, the fuel price will affect me negatively because Uber are not adding anything to the affair. At this petrol camp station, fuel is not the only thing witnessing panicky buying. Diesel buyers, too, are on the queue. Yeah, yeah, at the same time, they, they stop to, to selling anymore, despite that they don't increase. So I, I don't know where we are going in this country. I was surprised. So in this country, I, I tire everybody. Things here at this fuel station, uh, one of the fuel stations uh, along the Leki Ekbe Expressway, are at a standstill. The fuel vendors have stopped selling fuel. Now, you begin to ask yourself, why would they stop selling fuel? Why have they halted the sale of fuel? And cars are packed in their numbers. Tens and almost hundreds of cars are actually still packed on the queue, waiting to buy fuel. Now, as at the time of of filing in this report. The NMPC and the PPRA has said that they are rescinding the decision to um, increase the fuel price. But that's a reality that Nigerians in this fuel station are finding really hard to deal with. From a fuel station right here in the Lekki area of Lagos, Mary Chinda reporting for Plus TV Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.